So while I was home recovering, I was able to read a lot of books. Some were great, some were eh. Um, I read them all on Libby or Hoopla because I couldn't be lugging books around or having people come back and forth. Somehow I got recommended this debut book, The Red Address Book by Sophia Lundberg. And I thought, oh, okay, it's about an elderly woman in Sweden who is sharing her address book with her granddaughter. And each person, starting with the A's, is a story of her life. And there's a loss to love, and there's hardship, and there's World War II. And one of her entries that she had kept from this book, when, I, I believe it was a gift from her father, was when the person died, she would cross them out and put their death date. And so the granddaughter is going through the book and seeing who all these people are. The ending was fabulous. Mm. Fabulous. And I kind of didn't think it would have a, a as happy an ending as it did. Highly recommend. The Red Address book, I believe we have it in regular print, large print, and it is available on Libby. A complete right turn is The Husbands. And this is a farce, and it's about a woman who uh, comes home one day and finds out that there's a man in her apartment, and this is apparently her husband. She doesn't remember ever meeting him. Uh, yes, but all her friends tell her how, how wonderful her life is with, with this new man. And then he goes upstairs to change a light bulb, and a different man comes downstairs. And so, so begins a, a litany. It sounds like it's a heap of fun. So, yeah, is that a good thing or a bad thing I to think, have happen? Well, you be the judge, not you. It looks like a lot of fun, the husbands. Interesting. Yeah. You have a book in front of me. I have a book in front of me, and I'm getting a big kick out of reading this. It just came out this month by uh, Lee Bardugo. It's called uh, The Familiar. Uh, it's available uh, on Libby uh, in ebook and audio format, but even if you listen to it or, or read it that way, you should come look at the physical version because the edges are black and it's Ooh. got this lovely gothic print and you might not be able to see uh, on the image, but it, this picture is a woman's hand uh, holding a piece of jewelry and there's a scorpion crawling out of her sleeve, Ooh. which it just picks up the uh, atmosphere uh, lovely. The uh, story is set uh, in Spain uh, just after Ferdinand and Isabella uh, reunited um, the country. And uh, our main character is uh, a servant woman who is uh, a recent converso. Her family were Portuguese Jews, and now they are passing as Christians in uh, Spain. And she has a little bit of wet magic. She has a little Ooh, bit of you know, spooky witchiness going on. And she's trying to figure out how to use that to improve her life without uh, falling to the Inquisition. Yeah. And so um, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Sorry, Monty Python. <laughs> the Inquisition. Max Brooks. Yes. <laughs> Which, actually, that's a lovely, lovely... Uh, Segway. Segway uh, <laughs> right into the next book that I wanted uh, to talk about, which is called Devolution by Max Brooks. Uh, we have it available in Clams, Large Print, Regular, and the e-audio book. Uh, Max Brooks is uh, the son of Mel Brooks and Anne Maycroft. Yes. And uh, he had a, a big hit with his book, uh, World War Z, about 10 years ago, an oral history of the zombie war. And this is a return to that sort of oral history, but uh, devolution is uh, the retelling of the Cascade Sasquatch Massacre. And so you have a bunch of um, tech people who uh, in their various uh, eco-green vegan ways have uh, established a um, utopian sort of community okay tech-based but completely remote on Mount Rainier, and then okay. the volcano blows up on Mount um, Rainier, oops. and uh, these people are cut off, and of course the Sasquatch uh, are flushed out of their natural habitat and into contact with these all people. Right. And so like in the great tradition of all of these sci-fi things going all the way back to Frankenstein, you know, we have to ask ourselves, who are the real monsters? Exactly. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. Great. And segue into that, I still have to re recommend The Women by Kristen Hanna. Again. Again. I'm, it's worth it, I'm telling you. And again, you, who are the monsters? That is a great, great question in this. Um, I can't recommend it enough, really. You've got to read it. It's very thought-provoking. It'll really open your eyes. 
It was magnificent. It was well written. The characters were well developed. The relationships and the conflicts. Um, yeah, and I think you don't have to be of the Vietnam era no. age. No, no. Um, because a lot of the people that recommended it to me were of that age, and I thought, eh. uh, no, it was very good. Yeah, even my 97 year old mother in law loved it. Okay, so, there you go. There you go. Mother in law approved. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, I have a couple of recommendations because it's a beautiful sunny day, the day we're recording this. Beach reads are coming, people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, and also the end of our fiscal year. Our fiscal year runs July 1st to June 30th. So I'm already planning and purchasing books that will be coming out in June. So I want to talk about a couple that you're going to want to get your name on the list mm. because you're going to wait a very long time if you wait. Anybody a fan of the Maggie Hope mystery series? This is new to me. Tell me about it. Okay, them. so Maggie Hope her, um, is a character who started off as Winston Churchill's secretary. And he's completely off the wall and a curmudgeon. But she ends up getting recruited into some spy, because I love spies. That's mm -hmm. the thing you don't know about me. I love spy books. And so she gets recruited into her, his majesty, her majesty's secret service. She ends up working for Winston Churchill. So... The interesting thing about this is the name of the book is The Last Hope. This is the last book in the series. The character's name is Maggie Hope. And it's by Susan McNeil, M-A-C, Neil. Um, her books are really popular. Mm. They aren't too violent, um, but they get the job done. They sound like Jacqueline Winspear. But well, funny you should say Jack. Wow, we are on segues today, boy. Okay. <laughs> The new Maisie Dobbs book is coming ah, out okay. called The Comfort of Ghosts. So very similar to Maisie Dobbs and Jacqueline, Jacqueline Winspear. Um, the Comfort of Ghosts is coming out in June, so you want to get your name on that as well. Um, and then I don't know if you remember the book, The Major, what was it called? Major Pettigrew's Last Stand yep, yep. by Helen Simonson. Uh, it took place post-World War II. She has a new book coming out called The Hazelborn Ladies Motorcycle and Flying Club which kind of reminded me of the Guernsey Literary Potato yeah. Peel Pie yeah. Society. I was like, yeah. what is this book about? Yeah. Didn't recognize the author's name as Major Pettigrew's Last Stand. And it's post-World War I. All these women had been doing these amazing jobs, and the men come back, and now they're that what? bored. Hmm. So they hmm. decide to start their own motorcycle club, <laughs> and they begin learning how to fly. Hmm. And they are rebels because they're supposed to go back to their traditional roles. Well, they've already had a taste while the men were away. So that's another recommendation. Um, I'm not a big fan of the psychological domestic thrillers, but those of you that read The Last Mrs. Parrish, there's a new one coming. The next Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine is coming out also this summer. Sure to be a big hit. So get your name on the list so that you will get it in June, because I won't be able to order new copies until July 1st. <laughs> That's all I have. Well, your talk about spy stories uh, reminds me that uh, season one of Slow Horses oh, is now right. available on Hoopla. And so if you want to get started watching digital content through the library, that's a great place to start. Best thing on television I've seen in a while. Great, really? great. Oh, oh my God, yes. Okay. They're so dysfunctional and <laughs> it's fabulous. You laugh out loud. If you prefer to read, Mick Heron is the name of the author and there's a series of novels, but there's three series that have been televised, three books that have been turned into different series. And um, I get a big kick out of it. Well, boy, this is the day, I think because the team hasn't been together in a while, this is like probably our best video we've done. <laughs> um, so speaking of videos, also Apple has released their gnarly grip and they are releasing to DVD and it's on order, Ted Lasso. Oh. Ah, okay. Loved it. I believe. Loved it, yes. Okay. okay. So you definitely want to get your name on that. If you don't have Apple TV, it's not available in a lot of other platforms. Um, they're really pretty cheap or tight with their content. They want you to join for $10 a month. So we have all three seasons or four? Three seasons. Three seasons of Ted Lasso coming on DVD. Get your name on that as well. On bornlibrary.org in our cat catalog section or download the Clams app. Or come talk to us and we'll have nice people in the library. There you we'll go. We love talking. you through it. I think the three of us could talk all day. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, stop by and say hello and happy reading. <laughs>